Blalock toxication was designed to improve pulmonary blood flow and systemic oxygen saturation thereby decreasing cyanosis in infants with cyanotic congenital heart disease and low pulmonary blood flow the basis was that in those with uh, severe pulmonary stenosis and or pulmonary atresia there was worsening of cyanosis and systemic oxygen saturation when spontaneous closure of the ductus occurred in the newborn period so it was thought that you can have an artificial systemic to pulmonary shunt to improve pulmonary blood flow and systemic oxygen saturation the classic blalock toxic shunt or bt shunt is anastomosis of the subclavian to the pulmonary artery the subclavian is divided proximal to the origin of the vertebral artery and it is anastomosed to the pulmonary artery that is classic bt shunt and uh, this will improve the pulmonary blood flow in conditions with low pulmonary blood flow as in tetralogy of fallow here i have depicted the interventricular septal defect and uh, obstruction to the pulmonary flow in tetralogy of fallow this was the classic bt shunt which was being done earlier it is no longer being done this was usually done on the side opposite the aortic arch presence of brachiocephalic trunk will prevent kinging of the subclavian when it is pulled down towards the pulmonary artery that was the reason for doing it on the side opposite to the aortic arch normal aortic arch is on the left brachiocephalic trunk is on the right side but there are some patients with uh, tetralogy of fallow who have aortic arch on the right side then you can do a left petition as well one of the disadvantages of the classic blalock toxic shunt is subclavian steel syndrome in which subclavian seals uh, blood from the cerebral circulation that is when the person exercises the arm as the subclavian is divided proximal to the origin of the vertebral artery when more blood is needed to the exercising arm blood is taken from the cerebral circulation that is uh, vertebral is joining the basilar artery and then it is forming the circle of willis so from the circle of willis blood is stolen into the exercising muscles of the arm and this is subclavian steel syndrome and this is likely to cause giddiness and syncope this was a feature noted in classic bt shunt but seldom noted in the modern modified bt shunt this is the diagrammatic representation of modified bt shunt the subclavian is not divided and a cortex graft is connected from the subclavian artery to the pulmonary artery so subclavian flow is not interfered with moreover there is less chance of delayed development of pulmonary hypertension when the whole subclavian is anastomosed to the pulmonary artery pulmonary artery is a low pressure circulation while subclavian is a high pressure systemic circulation there was some chance of development of delayed pulmonary hypertension because of excessive flow though it was less than central aortopulmonary shunts there used to be central aortopulmonary shunts which is more likely to cause increased pulmonary blood flow excessive pulmonary blood flow and later on development of pulmonary hypertension this one modified bt shunt is much less likely to cause delayed development of pulmonary hypertension and pulmonary occlusive vascular disease only disadvantage is that there is an artificial material here and like any other artificial material in the systemic circulation in the circulation 
there is a chance for thrombus formation within and occasionally they may develop acute occlusion of the uh, graft which can lead to severe cyanosis as the pulmonary blood flow falls abruptly. Obstruction can also occur in classic BT shunt uh, sometimes due to kinking of the subclavian or natural thrombus formation. And that condition will be an emergency situation with severe cyanosis. BT shunt is only a palliative procedure both modified and classical. You have to do intracardiac correction repair later on. This is only to buy time. Nowadays with advanced, advanced surgical techniques even in newborn period it is possible to have intracardiac repair of tetralogy of fallow and similar pul low pulmonary blood flow conditions so that you may not need modified BT shunt. Still in some complex congenital heart diseases when early repair is not feasible, you may still do modified BT shunt for palliation. There are also certain situations in which full repair is not feasible at all. Then it may even be a permanent solution even though the longevity will be less in such cases.